Hello YouTube and welcome to what's going to be a pretty big episode of the VIP series. I was struggling to sell my EOS and then Devon finally bought her for 17,500 story gems, which is just short of 17,000 that I get in return. Bearing in mind I bought her for 18,000, it means I only lost about 50 bucks worth of story gems, even though she got us a ton of progress and a ton of content, so she definitely paid for herself. Moving up, you can see I bought myself a Lord of Fear Aspen, a minus. This guy, I will show you in a second, is incredible. On top of that, guys, we have a Fiona that I went and bought. We have a Sarja and we have a Seer. You might think, what the heck, MK? You're going to build a Sword Flash? No, I'm not going to build a Sword Flash. I'm going to build an Alamac. Yes, because Alamac is pretty darn fun. He is going to be a fantastic Transcendence Hero for us. And yeah, that's going to be one of the things we do today, along with a bunch of other stuff. Also, you'll notice I've got almost 40,000 story gems. A member of the community very, very, very luckily pulled an A plus hero, sold them and then said, hey, look, I don't really play anymore. Do you want the story gems from my lucky pull? And I'm like, dude, are you serious? And he's like, yeah. So he's like, get something nice. So I guess we're just going to save up those story gems and... Yeah, it's Big Toad. So thanks. Shout out to Big Toad in chat there. That was him that did that. We're going to save up for an S tier because it will be really, really cool if we can build an S tier on this account. And it'll be like something different, something unique. There's not a lot of people that have S tiers that stream. I know there's a few out there, but I think it'd be a lot of fun. So if we're going to go ahead and build this account, we've got to make value come from this Lord of Fear Aspen. So we need his tenants. Now we already have Carrie, we've got Drake, and we have as well an Elena copy here. We need to go ahead and make her transcendent. We also have the Amon Ra as well. So we've got all of our tenants ready to go. Probably an opportunity to get rid of Eos here. So that's another transcendence hero. We can get rid of Fairy Queen Vessa if we're boarding Alamac. So really, We've got so much to do today. So before we do any of that, though, we don't want to get too distracted. We've got to remember there's an event here this week that we need to complete. Now, this exploration package is incredibly good value for anyone that wants to spend. And these Prism Story Gems will go towards that S tier hero that we're going to slowly aim towards. Maybe we'll have that by anniversary. I don't know. We could even get the new hero if they end up being good. We'll have to wait and see. So first things first, let's buy this exploration package, get ourselves some of these lovely story gems and make some progress for this week because we get a ton of cores and stellar shards and I love cores and stellar shards, so sounds good to me. And look at that. I bought the exploration package on iCool. Let's go ahead and get some more story gems on here by converting those prisms. Very good. And we're going to go ahead and look at the Spring Garden Party, which we have now unlocked a bunch of prizes for. I'm not going to go wasting my uh, hard-earned gems here. We're just going to go buy Heroic Summon Scrolls. I probably want Profit Ops. Oh, but then I also probably want Skin Shards as well, as Skins are pretty valuable at the moment. And Dust is pretty good. Oh, I just said I'm not going to spend anything, and now I've just talked myself into getting everything, haven't I? Okay, let's just do Sky Labyrinth first. Let's just be intelligent. So... We've got extra pickaxes on top of our 105, so I'm going to smash 27. What do you mean 27? That's dreadful, mate. Who, do you, who are you? 27. Right, I'm going to do it manually. Forget this. What a stupid game. Smash doesn't even do it properly. Oh, dear. Right, there you go. Active skill on Halora gets me a pickaxe. Claim all that rubbish. Grab this energy here and just button mash until we get an exit. Let's get that times two. We might hit pickaxes. No, we get gems. That's still pretty good, though. Don't have a lot of gems. Claim all that stuff. Claim the energy. And get the heck out of here. Right, let's clear this one down. This should be done before the active triggers, but I don't trust it, right? I don't trust this game. So we'll claim the map. Claim another column. Watching for the active skill. We need to get the exit. Come on. Exit. Oh, please don't do this. No. Come on, I need the exit right now. One. Exit, please, this click. <gasps> wow. That was unpleasant. That was really unpleasant. Because now it's just one click than Halora. It was a high roll. It was an absolute high roll. That's a lot of times twos. It's a lot of plus twos and plus fours. Wow. Wonder what we're going to get from this. Oh, double profit orbs. Let's go. 
All right, now I just need to hit pickaxes. Pretty confident the exit will just show up. Yeah, that was that was early. Sweet. All right. 92 of these bad boys still left. I think the active is going to trigger on this floor, though. So a little bit concerned about that. Shouldn't be too much of an issue, though. With some extra energy. That's made it a little bit more manageable. If we can get some more energy as well, I'll appreciate it. Hmm. How many have we already done? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 17 we've already done. So it's 18, 19, 20, 21. He's done it again, boys! 42 out of 43! This is ridiculous. Like, this was just meant to be a transitory thing, you know, like, oh, we'll just do Sky Labyrinth and then the big stuff will happen. But it's turning out that Sky Labyrinth is the exciting part just as much as anything else. Holy darn. Right, okay. And we'll just clear all this. How am I getting this lucky? This is ridiculous. Right, could we times two a pickaxe? No, it's still gems again, though. I'm happy to double gems. It's not a lot of them, but gems are nice. There's your exit. So we get out of here. Wow. And we should be doing another active skill on this floor, I think. Which is... I don't know, it's it's a little early. We might just hit 42 out of 43 again, you never know. So we'll just gun through, there's more pickaxes. Just be mindful that we might need to get ready for an active. Yeah. One. Two. Pickaxe. Three. Right, how many have we done? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Okay, active here's good. And we get the exit. That's good. That's fine. Right, we're on 36 now. Is this the point I switch to Asmodel? Or do I get one more active out of Halora, then switch to Asmodel? 40 pickaxes. I think it's Asmo time. Yeah. Switch to Asmo. Grab the energy. Let's go. All right, should clear out the columns now. And I'm expecting two or three actives from Asmodel from all this. Well, with that kind of energy income, we should be fine. Pretty sure he just dominates this. Let's wait for the exit. Which should appear at any moment, please. <laughs> Uh-oh, how many have we done? Six, 12, 17, 23, hmm. I don't want to claim the energy just in case it's going to wreck us. Oh, we've got to claim it anyway, haven't we? Yeah, we do. It's annoying. Oh! He's only got to do it again, boys! 31 out of 32. That's good. Hit that. Do the column. I, I can't... I can't explain what's going on here today, guys. I am genuinely speechless at this rolling. I've been so lucky. Absolutely god-tier luck. Go into the treasure map. Let's claim our rewards from here. Claim all that. Bunch of stuff. Happy days. And then let's go claim some more of our pickaxes. So if we look at the Spring Garden Party, we've made a ton of progress here. So let's claim all these things in. That's going to be a lot of cores, a lot of extra pickaxes, loads of things coming through here. So... With that in there, let's go back to Sky Labyrinth. That's taken up by 10 pickaxe. Okay, that's a solid amount. So let's go clear these columns. Probably going to get an exit here. There's a times two. Hit that. Yep, there you go. There's our exit. So in we go. And this is probably going to be close to our final opportunity for an Asmo active. If not, we might even get another one out of it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Claim that pickaxe either way. That's two. Nice. No, we're only getting it one more. That's more active, it seems. Yeah. Any more prizes? A few, but not a lot. Right. Are we anywhere near 45? Not really. Okay. That's a shame. So I think it's time we start using gems. So I'm going to buy 20 of these. It's only 2,000 gems. Should be mindful about the active skill. Ah, that's annoying. I shouldn't have clicked that wishing coin. I was not expecting a plus four there. So I think this is our last active skill we're going to get anyway. 
Yes, so I'm going to grab this. I'm going to use the pickaxe. Then I'm going to do the active. Then I'm going to grab the extra energy. There you go. That might end up biting me in the butt. But I think we'll still be okay. Then we'll clear this column. Should hit the exit pretty soon. There you go. And we're absolutely going to get to the next floor. Yep. So we just do, I think, enough to get the sky chest one and then we're good, right? Don't really need that deluxe chest. So yeah, this is perfect. Sky chest one from all this. That's kind of what you want really from these kind of events. Not going to complain at all. No, sir. So let's see if we can get some more pickaxes from all of this. Not really. Let's go and check the other rewards. Got that coming through. Where are we at now then for the spring garden party? I could just get three spring points. It's going to be progress, I suppose. We could also get some from the spring points here. That's going to get us... I guess, I guess it's going to get us a lot of extra stuff. We're going to get cause of transcendence and stellar shards, so it just makes it worth it, I think. It's another 10 in progress. Yeah, so I'm going to buy both of those. It's going to hurt my gem total, but I think we're going to be okay. And the bottom two I'll leave, so we'll grab this. That's just worth it. That's worth it. We get the cores, which makes it valuable. Claim that. That's going to be extra pickaxes for us. So we go back in. Sky Labyrinth. Five pickaxes. So that saves us pickaxes here as well, technically speaking. And probably want to start going across now. Just two more. So we'll go one. And then the final one. I can't believe we get the second active here. This is nuts. Didn't even hit the exit. Wow. So we haven't wasted anything. This is great. Just got to find that exit now. <laughs> Come on, pickaxes. Where the heck is the way out? There it is. There you go. And we still got... Wait, how many pickaxes left? Nine? So we're not going to get another floor out of this, but it's still cute. Nice. So get out of here. There you go. Get our bonuses. There's some more spring points. And that puts us in a position where on the spring garden party, we're 56. Which means we could squeeze for more mithril pickaxes, but it's not worth it. I don't think we're going to get another floor out of this. I think we're good. I think we're absolutely good. It's not even worth it. It's a sky deluxe chest. So we got ourselves a ton of stellar shards, a ton of cores from all that. Brilliant. So let's go open some of these cores. Of course, we're going in fate. And will I get a ton of of transcending spheres. Let's hope we get lucky. M for good luck. No. That's standard. Oh well. Sad days. It happens. It happens. Don't worry about it. I should probably switch to guidance soon. But I never will. I'll wait for another big high roll and then be like, well it might happen again. Right, let's switch our heroes around then. So... I am absolutely terrified because we have so many options here. It's, it's all going to be the same. It's just going to be, we've got to build Alamac. But I only have 35 soul symbols. So we need to do this as effectively and cleanly as we possibly can. So step one is going to be regress Vesa. Step two is regress Eos. Yes. So let's start with that. We should be able to just regress her. Here we go. Eos. <sighs> scary. Absolutely scary. Let's get her gone. Say bye to Eos, folks. She served us well. She is now destroyed. We get back all of the materials from inside of her. That includes her sublimation, her X upgrades, all the stellar shards, the crystals of transcendence. She's gone. Vessa. Regressor. She's gone. We only have 15 left. So now we need to start getting real strategic. I have a ton of light food. It's at this point I should probably inform you about Alamac's tenants. So if we go to the Cloud Island, you'll see Alamac needs Vulcan. I have a really good Vulcan copy I accidentally pulled that was a B+. We might as well use it whilst we wait for Star Alchemist Home Jung. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. However, I need Stellar Shards to be removed from my Asmodel. So the most efficient way to do these swaps and keep the good stones that we have is to actually go to Convert and swap the Asmodel to a Vulcan. So we need to go and take out our Asmodel. That's a very important step. I'm also going to remove 
everyone, just in case I have to switch around, I guess, you know, imprints, things like that. We'll just we'll pull everyone from the homes. I'm going to do the same thing with Lord of Fear Aspen's tenants as well, just in case things get weird. So remove that and then remove that. There you go. Right. So pull all that out. Let's get back to work. We're going to go ahead and convert Asmodel. So he's going to become Vulcan. We'll make sure we put our B plus Vulcan in there, but that's locked. So we need to go and unlock that. Me playing safely means <laughs> extra steps. Right, also, how many Vulcan copies do we have? We have one, two, three, four, if you include those D minuses. We have five, six with these. If we go to the bag, we have these light and dark chests. That could be Elena copies, though. How many Elena copies do we have? Okay. How many chests do I have that just have Vulcan in? So not that one. What about this one? Right, that's got Elena there, right? How many Elenas do I need? Are they all summoned or is Elena already made to E5? Oh, Elena's already made to E5. That instantly saves me a job. I forgot I pre-built the Elena to save myself from making that mistake. So that's good. So now I need to go ahead and grab those Vulcan copies. So we're just going to use these light and dark chests. That's going to be two Vulcans from here. Unless there's a Vulcan in another kind of chest that I'm forgetting about that I'm pretty confident he won't be in. Looking around... What about this one? That's a glory epic chest. No, that's not got Vulcan in. So, wait, yeah, we're all good there. How many Vulcan copies does that take me to? Let's pull them out. We have two there. So, we're looking at a Vulcan where we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I don't really want to use those Ds. So, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, if you include the copy who is B. So, at this point, we need four more Vulcans if we're going to do this effectively. So let's go ahead and pull four more Vulcans. Good thing I have these imminent chests. So that shouldn't be hard. There we are. Let's go ahead and grab him into the account. So here we go, folks. We're going to go convert. And we need a bunch of copies of Vulcans. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Confirm. Replace. This is then going to put Vulcan on the account, give all the resources that are inside the Asmodel back, including his imprints, and that's made Vulcan to E5. However, it's glitched, his attack's higher, so let me just reset the server. Right, there we go, we've fixed Vulcan, he is now a correct level, that's fine, he should have an attack attack stone, yes he does. Now you might think, what the heck am I going to do with Asmodel? I need him as a tenant for Asmodel. You would be absolutely correct, I do need him as a tenant for Asmodel. So we're going to do that. We're going to make up our Asmodel once again. Good thing we have all that food then from destroying Eos. You see, I planned it. So we've got to go to 10 star Asmodel. We've got to make sure we have a good B plus in there. And we're going to go ahead and upgrade him. Now we're going to go take him all the way up to E5. Just to make sure we've got promotion stones for all the other stuff we need to do. So let's get him built. And yep, that is ourselves an aggressive Asmodel built and made. Now the stone is something we're going to need to fix later on but we've got a lot of stones to deal with so this could be quite a long process we're also going to go and level him up to level 350 that's good because we need to make sure he is leveled up because he's going to be a pretty strong tenant on top of that we need to go and build our other heroes because at this point i only have five transcendence heroes what a disaster so we need to transcend some heroes we're going to go with Alamac. so we're going to get him built there you are level 350 we're going to do the same with elena level her up level 350, and we need both of them on the account to be support heroes. So let's go to the Gate of the Void, Evolution Cube, and let's go ahead and evolve ourselves these heroes. So we need to go to the very end, because they're the newest heroes. We have Elena, put her in. That's a B copy there. That's going to be ourselves a transcendent B tier Elena. And now we need to make the next one. Typhoon! Can't wait to see a count after the changes. Me neither, buddy. I think it's going to be huge. So let's get Alamac on here as well. With that B-plus copy I high-rolled from the stone. Go ahead and get him pulled in. Also, one of the coolest-looking heroes in the game, without a doubt. So that looks nice. Before I forget, let's give these people skins. So give him a legendary skin. And then we'll go with a legendary skin on Elena. Right, let's go ahead and upgrade these heroes. We need to make them Void 4, and we need to make them Tree of Origin 5. So that's our next step. That's going to be a huge advance in progress and resources. So let's just go ahead and make it happen. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade his stone whilst we're here. I'm going to quick upgrade to Soulstone 1. 
I think. Yeah. And um, we're probably looking for... Don't you just go with attack, attack? That is going to be what's best on him. Because the shield scale with attack. So we'll uh, probably cry as we uh, just sit here with Soulstone 3. And convert for attack. And then hope we don't lose too many resources in the process. Attack, attack, precision. It's not, it's not the best though. We'll leave it there though. So, Elena's turn. Let's go ahead and make her void fall. And then we'll give her a stone too. We want anything with HP really for Elena to keep her alive. So what I'm going to do now is convert this. We need attack attack for her being a tenant. Oh, HP. Mm. Okay, HP HP is also really, really good. So we're just going to stay with the HP HP because that means she can have more effective shields. So obviously survival is just nice. So now we need to swap this and hope that we can get ourselves attack attack pretty quickly. Because she's going to be a tenant. Speed attack? It's better than nothing. Right, we'll stay with speed attack for now. No point wasting our dust, because I know we're going to need dust for more projects in the future. Right, now we need to check Aspen's stone. Uh, he's speed, crit, attack, attack, and speed precision. So the one thing I don't have him on is crit, crit, attack. So I need to convert and try and get crit, crit, attack on this guy at some point as well. Also, you may have noticed, I haven't Tree of Origin 5'd the Alomac yet. So let's go get that guy upgraded. So let's get both him and Elena to Tree of Origin 5. All right, here we go. That should be Tree of Origin 5 on the Alomac. And that's a Tree of Origin 5 Elena. Now, whilst we're in her tree, let's go ahead and use some of these upgrades we have. You can see I have a ton of sublimation just sitting on the account. We've got a full passive there that we managed to get back. So I'm going to go ahead and put this into Elena upgrading her nice and strong on this passive here. And we'll do the same on Elena's active skill as well, because that's a really, really good ability. So we'll get Elena's active improved also. There you go. So that's that upgraded. And now you're probably thinking, hey, MK, what about these other two nodes? You're going to do those on Elena as well? Absolutely we are, but let's go first use the sublimation we have. And we have an active skill here that we can throw into Alamac that we just get for free. <laughs> So we might as well throw this down. There you go. That's going to be upgraded. And do I have any more sublimation? Not really. So at this point, our attention needs to turn across to... Probably filling in the other stuff here. We're going to want passive 1, 2, and 3 on Alamac. And I'm going to want to get passive 1 and passive 3 on Elena as well. So we're going to go ahead and pull that stuff all from sub chests because I've saved them up from events. This is why I've been saving up all that sublimation. I knew it was going to come in handy at some point. And there we go. That's a fully sublimed basic attack. Fully sublime passive skill. And let's do the final passive. Upgrading everything. Nice one. And by the way, guys, this is why I got cores from this uh, event we had a few... I mean, a week ago or so. Because I knew that I would have enough sublimation now to do all of this stuff. Which is a nice position to be in. There's only really one hero now that needs sublimation, and that's Lord of Fear Aspen. Just for the extra attack and HP on his skills. So, that's done there. We're fully sublimed on both Alamac and Elena. They're both Tree of Origin 5. And, uh... Yeah, now I think it's time to go build up all of the heroes. So Lord of Fear Aspen's tenants, he's going to want Drake. So we need to go ahead and build up this Drake copy. So let's get some nine stars in here. Let's get Drake moving. So take him up to E1. Let's take him up again. Let's get him to E2. Just using all this food we've got. Might as well. And then E3 and E4 and E5 should be good because I have a ton of 10 stars. So shouldn't be struggling for this either. And you want me to Tree of Origin 5, Drake? I'm tempted. I'm actually tempted. He's very, very good in PvP. And this finally can compete in PvP that I've built Halo Max. So maybe we could. Uh, isn't Aspen a better tenant? Yes, but I will be investing in this Drake to actually use in PvP. So that's why we're going with Drake. Also, I have an insanely good copy of Drake. I mean, I have a good copy of Aspen as well. So that's by the by, but I, I will be using him. Right, so that's a... Leveled up Drake. That was nice and easy. Let's just go take him up to 350 now, because we can. And now the other heroes we need to go and take a look at are pretty much the remaining tenants. So we've got Sarja and Fiona, which I alluded to earlier, because we're going to be using them with our Alomac when he goes in a house. And I have nine stars. I do. I really do have nine stars. The one thing I don't have, though, is an abundance of dust. 
We're going to build a seer. We're going to build a sword flash to be a tenant for Elamac. That's much better. So let's get her made. Do I have another nine star? I do, but I kind of want to save them. So I'm just going to go to the bag. I should have nine star chests. Yes. So let's pull that in. We've got another nine star puppet here as well. So that's perfect. So that's three nine stars we actually have, which is perfect for making more enabled heroes. That's very pleasing. So that's E2 on Seer. And no doubt we'll make it to E5 because I've got a ton of 10 stars. So there you go, that's an E5 Seer. So now we need to go ahead and with the additional nine stars, we've got E5 someone else. So we're going to go with Fiona now. So this should be again, real quick and easy. Yeah, I got so much food on this account. This is ridiculous. I think the one thing that's going to sting me in the ass is going to be promotion stones. We'll just go 350 here on Fiona. Have we leveled everyone to 350? I haven't done Sword Flash yet, so we'll level her to 350. And I will transcend the Seer whilst we're here as well. So let's go to the Gate of the Void, Evolution Cube. So who'd have thought it? Sword Flash is actually coming back onto the account. My first ever Transcendence hero. Let's go give her the Legendary skin that I've not used in absolutely ages. Yeah, she's looking pretty cool. I should probably Void Imprint her. That would probably be a good idea. And I could make her improved when it comes to the Tree of Origin. I'm on the fence about this. I could Tree of Origin improve her as a Sword Flash to make my Alamax stronger. Or I Tree of Origin improve the Drake to make my Aspen stronger. This is now the world I'm in. <laughs> What's the better decision? Drake for a stronger Aspen or Sword Flash for a stronger Alamac? Drake? Drake? You want me to Tree of Origin Drake? Well, guys, buckle your seatbelts. <laughs> We're going to build a Tree of Origin 5 Drake so that Aspen's an absolute Chad in Star Expedition. Okie dokie. Let's go. It's Void 4 time. Oh, wow. Okay, for, for this Drake, I'm also going to just remove probably imprints off of everybody. I mean, do I have to remove imprints off of everybody? Do I need to do that? I'm running low on 10 stars. Okay, Flora is getting the boot. She's out of here. What's she got? Freaking attack, attack stone. I don't need this hero anymore. Flora, be gone. Right. Convert. Regress. Delete. Five 10 stars. Nice. Okay, and with that, I can also build some other 10 stars. For example, Faceless. I could just put in two other Faceless copies and upgrade, but I don't want to waste my promotion stones doing that, so we'll focus on the Drake for the moment. I might not even need promotion stones, but just hold that thought. Right, so here we go. This is going to be a Tree of Origin Drake. <laughs> oh, it seems so silly. All right, put that there. That's pretty nice. Randall. Great content. Keep up all the hard work and your guides are insane. Thanks for all the help, my guy. No worries. I'm glad you enjoy it. Right, let's Tree of Origin improve this Drake then, which is not a sentence I thought I was ever going to say during the VIP series. I, I deleted Drake a few weeks ago and now we're rebuilding him. <laughs> Cap 1. Let's go. Cap 2. Let's go. Uh, Cap 3. Let's go! And now I need a 10 star. So remember that faceless that I could have built but then didn't because of promotion stones? Well, that faceless I'm going to build because I can because of Tree of Origin. So put that in. Put that there. Boom! 10 star faceless. Lovely. Absolutely delicious. So that's fun. So this should be Drake upgraded then, right? That's Tree of Origin 5. Surely. Surely we can do this. Oh wait, do I need another 10 star? Ah! Stellar Shards! No! I've read out. Oh, this is an issue. That's a real issue. Okay. Now, in that case, I'm going to remove Stellar Shards from Rogan. I don't need this as he's no longer a tenant. Oh, that gives us 10 stars as well. Pog. That's really good. That's exactly what I needed then. So, oh, I need one more. Wait a minute. Are you telling me I'm 1,000 Stellar Shards short? Like, come on, get out of here. Right, open everything. There we go. More Stellar Shards for me. Fabulous. Right. 
Let's get back to Drake. Upgrade. Bam. And that... Is a Tree of Origin 5 Drake. Which will probably make some of you feel physically unwell. But I'm telling you, it's freaking cool. Right. He's also wearing full assassin armor. Now we need stone for him. So we're going to quick upgrade to soul stone one. If I get attack HP first time. Quick crit attack. What a chad. Okay. I am going to need two stones for him anyway. I need one for PVP and I need one for uh, him being a tenant. So we're going to upgrade this. Oh, attack attack. That's that's just a keep. So I'm just going to I'm just going to convert to HP HP and I'm going to leave that as a soulstone too. Like soulstone 3 being the cap is now like a mental illusion. So that for me is stop here. That's what that says. So I'm going to convert till I get HP HP. There you are. Perfect. So we got full attack, full HP. And that that's him pretty much done. I'm not going to worry about anything else there. So that's a pretty solid tenant we've got. Uh he's going to need a dark flag. <laughs> Which I do have. It's currently on either carry or Ramen Ra. It's on carry. Okay, cool. So we're going to go take this. I'm going to just swap it with like a shadow flag. And then... <laughs> Drake! Merry Christmas, my boy! There's a splendid dark flag that I built earlier. X upgrade the Drake? No! No, level 400 is enough. Right? We haven't even done level 400 Aelomac or later yet. And that's expensive still, right? I mean, I have a lot of, a lot of spirits, so we're okay. Oh boy, what a weird top row! I have eight Tree of Origin five heroes. That's really cool, <laughs> like really, really cool. Asmodel needs a stone, so upgrade this boy. Quick upgrade to Soulstone one, like we did with Drake. Block attack. So we'll stop when we get to attack attack. If it comes up at Soulstone 2, it doesn't. So we'll just go Soulstone 3 and then start converting at this point. So let's see if we can get attack attack. Perfect. That's Asmodel done. Make sure he's got a skin on. Yes, he does. There's an E5 we need to build. Good thing I spotted this. Let's build this E5 hero that we still haven't built yet. <laughs> Let's hope we have enough promotion stones. And we will swap this Sarja to Alamac when I finally get enough Alamac copies, because currently I need nine more Alamacs before I do that, and I'm very Alamac poor at the moment. So Sarja is a temporary tenant for Alamac. So put in our 10 stars here. This is fine. We have exactly enough heroes for this. Oh my word. And exactly enough promotion stones. That is tight. We'll go ahead and switch up our skills. Make sure we go for the aggressive ones, of course, as you would expect. And that's all good. And now we need to level her up to level 350. And we need to get her a stone too. Now, her stone's not going to be as important because I mean, we'll just go soul stone one. If we get attack attack, that's great. Crit HP. Eh. And then Fiona needs a stone as well. Yeah, she's not got one, so we'll quick upgrade this to Soulstone 1. And that speed heal effect. So, these two, I'm less worried about their stones. I'm just going to convert them to attack attack. They're quite cheap, because these aren't going to be optimized tenants. It's just for Alamac. So I'm pretty sure, has everyone got a stone they need? Vulcan? Yep. Sword Flash? No. Ah. We need a stone for Sword Flash as well. Dust. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why do I need so much dust? Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm regressing, Rogan. It's happening. He served us well. And in that case, Sword Flash should go ahead and get her a stone. Maybe we can high roll her straight away. That'd be pretty good. Skill damage precision. Ugh. What, I, what I'll do, actually, I'll be smart about this. So we got attack HP on Fiona. I'll, I'll swap Sarge's just to attack, attack. Oh, there you go. Attack, attack. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and take a little look at Sword Flash. I'm never going to use this Sword Flash for anything other than a tenant, so I don't want to waste my dust. I'd rather have Soulstone 6s on the heroes that matter. Attack HP will have to do. It's not ideal. 
but it will have to do. And in that case, there's only one thing left to do, and that's to try and get Crit Crit Attack on Lord of Fear Aspen. This is going to be so expensive. This is the one thing I've been, like, holding back off. Holy damage, skill damage. Not what I want. Crit HP. It's cute, but again, it's not what I want. We have 18 Starland chests here that we're going to open all for dust. That's 90,000. Let's see if we can get Crit Crit Attack from these. Come on. And then I'm done. That's all me for stones. Crit Precision. <laughs> nope. Come on. I need Crit Crit Attack for Star Expedition. It's literally next week. There it is! Bingo. So we got Speed Crit, Crit Crit Attack, and Attack Attack for when he's a tenant, if he's ever a tenant. And, yeah. Crit Crit Attack's looking freaking beautiful. So... That's for Star Expedition. Now, for Sublimation, I just need to put two upgrades on those last two things. So let's see if I have enough subs for that. I have these chests here. That's enough to do one of them. Hmm. Might as well. I literally need one melon chest. So go like this. Get two of them. There we are. Let's upgrade Aspen. Let's upgrade it twice. So one. And two. And that increases his HP and his attack. Now it's time to go put some boys in houses. This house is called Guardian, so that's going to be Alamax's house. So he's going in there. We're then going to put Sarger in. We're going to put Vulcan in. We're going to put Fiona in. We're going to put Sword Flash in. It's not a lot of extra attack, but it's something. Let's go to the Asmodel. He gets himself. He gets Jara. He gets Tussalago, and he gets Halora. Now, with that done, we then go to Aspen. He's going to have Drake, who's given quite a, quite a chunky one million there. It's, it's, not, it's not as much as you'd think, right, for a, for a hero. That's <laughs> Tree of Origin 5. <laughs> that's Assassins for you. Uh, and there's Elena, and that's going to be Carrie. And we need the good Amon-Ra. There you go. And that's giving him 4.3 million attack. So Asmodel's still our biggest boy. Um, he won't be our biggest boy when we remove the Halora and put her into Aspen's place, because that takes... Yeah, Aspen gets 6.6 .6 then, and we can tune up other heroes. Obviously, these houses aren't even finished yet. That's why Drake's only giving 1 million, because he's only got 77 levels in his house, as opposed to everybody else's house, which is upgraded. So I need to focus on wood as a resource to pick up at the moment. Uh, but I might even have some, actually. Let's go see if we can pull some from the bag. So let's see if I've got any of those chests. I probably don't. I normally open them as soon as I get them. Okay, whilst we're in here, though, I will open this chest. HHA, Hyperspace Hunter Alamac Cores. So I'm going to get two of them at the very least. So I'll open that four times. So that's 200. Go to Core of Origins. Pull these boys in. There you go. That's two made. Uh, let's give them the core. Use and then upgrade. Insert, level up, boom. And that's going to be a level 2 one. I need two more cores for Alamac if I'm going to go and improve this to Noble, but already that's giving him some good stats. His attack is modest. I, I, need, to, I need to convert this. So he's in a similar situation that Aspen was in where he just needs a good stone. I, just, I, need, I need attack attack. Speed attack's better. It's a little bit more, I think, for attack. Speed HP, that's cute. But it's not attack. Come on. Two attempts left. <gasps> attack HP. W. We'll just take it. That's that's good. I'll leave that. Attack HP is fine. Let's do some broken spaces. Let's show you what this Aspen can do. And we'll also get some golden dust and all that stuff in the process. So that's great. Battle 1. It's weird seeing Alamac on this account. It's really weird. That was from Freya. And that's from Halor. Nice. Okay. Stage two. Here we go. There's Aspen. <laughs> Getting a really, really big hit off. Well played. Are you just hiding the skins? On oh, most of them, yeah. If I don't like the look of the skin, I hide it. 
Especially the Aspen skin, because it's a freaking Christmas skin, right? Aspen and Halora have Christmas-themed skins. It's the end of April. It's almost summer. I'm not going to wear Christmas skins in summer. Like, I, I stick them on for like a month, and that's it. Right, here we go. The Gru's lived. I'm impressed. Only to immediately die. <laughs> to a lovely, juicy Aspen active. Nice. 28 billion in two hits. Fantastic job, Aspen. Oh, that was good. It turns out if he doesn't attack the defense down one, he one shots the whole thing. That's good. Let's see if he can do the same to the, the corpse demon. Here we go. Oh, nearly killed corpse demon. That's a shame. Ever so close, but not close enough. Right, Aspen. Try again. Bang. Ha ha ha. 104 billion damage. Excellent job. Giant killer... Aspen. I, I haven't even shown you what he's running. I managed to re-roll it to this. Giant killer defier crit damage. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The guy's a chad. 155.5% crit damage because of his skin that he's got on that's giving an extra 10%. So I could even tone this down and be like, you know what, bro? How's about you just wear this, but you get some added damage reduction? Also, that's kind of a good looking skin. So I don't really mind him wearing that one for the HP and the attack because it, it, it looks good. I think you've just got to go with the Christmas skin just for that 5% crit damage. Right, back to broken spaces. Let's go fight Ada and Aspen. So we should just pretty much one-shot this Ada. They'll both get defense down now as well. Here we go. Bang. <laughs> it, this is jokes, man. The fact it's two rounds, like, we would be better with melodic strings. Atlas Kane isn't even getting time to ramp up. Evolutionary Factor from Freya isn't even coming into play. He's just killing the wave. He doesn't care. <laughs> what? Do you remember Broken Spaces is meant to be hard for early accounts? But then you look at this and it's like, wow, that game mode just... One billion damage in three rounds. That's a pretty good hero. Oh, tr was it trillion? Uh, was it trillion damage? Oh, one trillion damage. I apologize. Sorry, guys. I was a whole factor of um uh, of a thousand now, <laughs> whatever it's called. I don't know. Oh, oh, did we not? We not hit that Drake hard enough there, Aspen? You need to try that one again. Just get a big instant kill. Here you go, buddy. Nice big active. Everyone's watching. You've got the snake buff. Oh, he didn't collateral into the Russell. That's a shame. Oh, no. <laughs> Russell doing nothing to us there. The arrows. Holy crap. Drake. You Chad. The shields from Aelomac are no joke. At 1.5 trillion damage. Wow. That's, uh, that's Broken Spaces beat, and um, we killed every single wave in less than three rounds. We have absolutely revolutionized this account. Everything has changed. We have gone from having an account that was built around Asmodel, Fairy Queen, Versa, and an Eos, to an Asmodel, a Lord of Fear Aspen, and an Aelomac. Aelomac's homes will be progressively upgraded as we can get them up. These are just little side homes, so he's going to be our third homeowner that we can focus on. All the while, we're also going to be upgrading Asmodel and Aspens as well, between the two of them, depending on which one's got the least. We do need to put uh, <laughs> the older carry back in on Aspens there, and put Halora back in here. So that's the only concern, is when Asmodel's our main hero... It's going to ruin Aspen's bonus stats because he's not going to have the Halora. But during Star Expedition Week, we will give him the Halora and make him absolutely huge. 
And yeah, we just need to slowly upgrade everything else, get ourselves some more wood, see everything get upgraded. And hopefully the account will just continue to grow and grow and grow. And as we said at the very beginning, folks, I now have 42,000 starry gems. So we're just going to have to wait and then we'll get ourselves maybe an S tier hero. And I'm thinking, unless the meta magically changes overnight, something like this might not be too bad. A Mockman could be good. And then we can have Mockman as a main homer and Asmodel as a main homeowner. Alongside the Alomac as another of the home. And then during Star Expedition, we put Lord of Fear Aspen in a home. And then Mockman as an S tier could be Lord of Fear Aspen's tenant. Like, wow. That's a lot of damage. So that's quite exciting. Overall, though, we've made a lot of progress today. Just need to go and build some teams for Realmsgate and I'll tune all that up off screen and then tell you how it all works. Next week is Star Expedition, so hit that subscribe button if you want to see just how much damage this Lord of Fear Aspen is going to do. So thanks for tuning in. I'll see you next time. And don't forget, guys, have a good week and happy idling.